hello everyone welcome back to my channel um today is week one of my uh mixed media scavenger hunt seek gather create um which i'll link the details down below you can find uh, all the details on my instagram channel this week were, we had to find something black something metal a feather and a thread so here we are but i had some black lace here uh, this rusty metal heart um a feather which i run under the sewing machine to add some thread to and the whole thing kind of rem reminded me this week of this sort of old-fashioned notion of children particularly little boys um searching around hunting for treasures and having pockets full of string and feathers and things so i found that little image there from an old children's book of a little boy um, and I'm starting to add collage here and I'm, I'm focusing on uh, black and white because of the, uh, the black prompt, but also things which link to sort of childhood. I've got large font writing there um, and bits of old map. That one says world there um, and just kind of things which are about exploration and childhood. That's an old... Um, Rolex card that's been coffee dyed with a stencil. I really like the pattern on the edge of it, so. so that's going in. And I'm just using that medium here to just get all this collage down on the page first. So whilst I'm doing this, I'll tell you a bit more about the challenge if you haven't heard about it already. This challenge is uh, running over August. Um, it's run by me, Tina Hoyce, Laura Dennison, and the Mixed Media Magpie, which is Mel. And um, every week, we on a Sunday, we're posting up a list of things to find. And um, then you use your four items to create a piece of artwork. And it can be anything, anything at all that you like. We, had some really fantastic uh, entries already. Oh, entries, I say, it's not a competition. But um, I've had a lot, we've had lots of people having a go and it's been fantastic to see what other people have been making. So I think, oh no, I'm just adding a little bit more of, uh, of the large font book. Pete. I, just, I don't know why, I just quite liked that it said, uh, said Pete. Um, now the, the next thing I'm adding here is some um, bits of fabric scraps and again these kind of have a link to me um, to childhood you know apart from that they, you might they might have found some scrap fabrics in amongst the pockets of string and feathers um, there's just something that sort of really links back to childhood for me with the with the fabric scraps perhaps uh, perhaps it's a, a memory of sort of my raggedy old comfort blanket and things like that. So I've just ripped up little bits and I'm just um, sticking that in amongst the collage just with a bit of this um, beacon craft glue here. Um, we haven't even got to the uh, to the four items yet, <laughs> but we will. I did want to keep the there you can see that little eco printed flower there on the page I tried my best but it just didn't turn out it ended up being hidden in the end there we are so that's all my collage work done and um, in my usual way I'm gonna grab myself some gesso and just <clears throat> use some of that just to bring it all together. I didn't want to hide too much uh, today. I liked the collage and um, I liked sort of all the different references to to both childhood and also the sort of black and white which went along with um, one of the items. So yeah, I, I sort of bring it together by painting around the collage but I don't do too much over the top, not really. A tiny little bit here and there. And 
obviously have left that flower as I had intended to leave it visible. Next, I wanted to add some color. Uh, I'll get my words out. Color. This is um, blue ink. It's Parker Quink ink. Um, I put it on, and then I thought it it was too blue, and it was ta it was sort of taking away from the black and white pieces. So I gave it. Here we go. I gave it a bit of a spray, um, and just dabbed some of it back off again. So you get sort of more of a tinge of blue, but it's not taking over. And then I grabbed my watercolours and added a little bit of pink, which with the blue turned quite purpley. And then I think I added yellow as well. I did. I added a bit of yellow in there too. Trying to keep the colours quite subtle. I'm just grabbing some more gesso on my fingers here. Um, I, I do this quite a lot where I once I've added colour and I go back with white um, just to brighten up some areas. go so I think I hold this up so you can see how it's looking so far here we are so you can see sort of the black and white the big fonts and the bits of map in there right on to the actual items now so I like this sort of raggedy feather with the thread that I'd sewn in and I kind of already knew I wanted it there in on the side but I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to where I wanted to put my lace and my heart so I'm just auditioning them around um, a little bit so I thought maybe about putting it with the feather but then the heart there just completely got lost because they're just both too dark um, and I quite liked it over there the heart with the feather but then um, yeah it was where to put the black lace so I decided to just shift it over and have it with the little boy Just seeing if I want any more anywhere else, but I decide not. I'm just going to have it there underneath, just sticking out from underneath the body. I'm kind of happy with that composition. I decided I definitely want the feather there. So I um, grabbed my stapler. That's probably the easiest way of attaching the feather. And just put a few staples down the, uh, the spine. Is that the right word? Doesn't sound right now. Spine of a feather? I don't know. Anyway, I uh, put some staples down there. Um, it annoyed me this feather because once I'd done that, it was just sticking out and wouldn't quite sit down. So I, I play around with it quite a bit trying to get it sorted. And then this rusty heart, um, I decided to stick down with some strong glue. This is E6000. It was a bit of a, gu a bit gummed up, so it took me a while to uh, to get the glue to come out. Now this little rusty heart was actually part of a rusty sign that I found down by the river here, um, and I just sort of pulled off a piece and it came off um, in this heart shape. So I haven't done a great deal to it. Um, I've just left it as it is because I quite I just liked it. So I've stuck that down there just in front of the feather. I decided to try and use this glue to stick that top of the feather down. I put far too much glue, so then had to wipe some of it back off again. And I forgot this glue doesn't really, it takes a while to dry this glue. So the feather just would not sit in it. Um, and I tried my best to get it to stick down. I, mean, I think I end up shoving the stapler on top just to try and hold it, yeah. Put it in, hold it in place for a minute or two, and I'm using the other glue, the uh, Beacon Craft glue, to stick down the lace and the boy. I like how he's facing towards 
the items as if they're his treasures that he's collected. And I found some words uh, in a book of mine and the words say children play hunting a hundred little things and I thought they'd look really good on the heart. And using that glue to try and get this feather stuck down. Again, look, it just won't. <laughs> it's just it's very stubborn, that feather. It's not happening. There goes the staple again. And I thought I'd lost, with adding um, these elements over the top, I'd lost some of the black and white um, collage in the background there. So I decided to do a bit of doodling. Um... And it was okay, but I thought I wanted it to be a bit more um, vivid. So I went back to that little paper napkin with the black marks um, and just using that medium to just add a few little extra bits here and there. It was really fun to find the items and to try and work out what I was going to do with them. I um, definitely encourage you to go and have a look on Instagram. If you look for the hashtag seek, gather, create, you can have a look at what everyone else is creating. So I gave up, look, and I staple it down. <laughs> I should have done that in the first place. Okay, what, what I, I did here now, um, the thread that I'd sewn in to the feather kind of was a bit lost. So I grabbed this bit of crochet thread. Um, I just tied it around one of the staples and just had it curling around on the page, which meant that I had all of my four items, something black, a feather, something metal and some thread. deciding where I want the thread to sit and again I just use a little bit of glue just to hold it down on the page and that's about it I'm really happy with how it turned out can't wait for next week so it'll be this Sunday guys if you're interested hop over to my Instagram channel and you can uh, find out what's uh, we, what we're gonna hunt for this next week There's just some details. Hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I hope you join in. Uh, it's great fun. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.